This is Evo's room. He likes his room being made up every day, but I'm gonna make sure that he's living in a pigsty for the next two or three days when I'm here. Where are we off, Ryan boy? This morning we're off to uh, to Cassay again. We've got a, a high quality Nisai harvest, a shower and tancho shower this morning, so uh, yeah, it's unfortunate it's for the chopstick system again late, but yeah, see what we can do. Well, we've got to fight our way through these Asian markets. I love good Thai. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Here we are then guys, back in Kase. Just parked the car there so we don't get locked in if it gets overrun. Ryan's hard pulling it without a jacket again. You learn one day. Hmm. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Uh, yes. Right. So we got all females in here, guys. Uh, males in here, sorry. All the females are in here. And we've got a couple of cases, secret stock in there that he's not selling. That'll be his highest range, that is. Sell. The dreaded chopsticks. It's tight in here, isn't it, when everyone's fighting?
I love this filter guys. Making up the mm. body car and up and then.
He's in place, so this looks like a derelict fish house, and I think Ryan thought it was a derelict fish house because ah, there's fish in here. It's fishing, yeah. So I was like, no, bloody, Ooh, that doesn't look very strong. But I said, no, the, the air's going. That's a bit weird. Oh, there's a massive dead fish here, though. Okay, so that's not doing the water quality any good. So maybe it is sort of a derelict one. This is bonkers. But look. I see fish over there. It's maybe been there for ages and just not been harvested. Yeah, to be honest, I feel a bit sorry for that fish in there with that decomposing. There's a fish in there, but there's a massive fish decomposing in the corner there. I might net the fish out and just chuck it out there. Have a look. Oh, goodness of my own heart, I've just netted that massive fish out. Back up here, because right, we've got to take a few pictures. Just seeing if there's anything new in here, but there's not today, I don't think. got to come to take pictures of is the Deutsch show is lovely. Yep, that's some more in the big pond. <laughs> some beauties in here. What I'm going to do when Ryan's doing that is get a little water sample. I'm going to have a good little little chart going of Nagata with all the different pHs and KHs, TDSs maybe, ammonia readings. Oh, it's going to be so scientific. This is nice, guys. Tiny, tiny scratch on the belly there, but that will repair. Lovely body on it. Lovely. Look at that. So we've done a bit of photography there, as you just seen. So the yeah, so the the Deutz shower is uh, is sold. It's for one of Ryan's customers. You know who you are, and uh, oh, but that Deutz Kuaku is amazing. What a powerhouse that is! Amazing body and stuff for uh, for what it is, and that's actually available. Yeah, I'm not really into Deutz, but if I was, that would definitely be on my hit list. Wow. Right, back in Mar Mar Marahero, just got a little photo shoot again now. Um, 
for one of Ryan's clients for an Asagi. This is certainly packing up now, guys. Look at that. Look at this for a dinner in Piyatsuri, guys. Mega. Body size different so mm. right we're on the way to lunch and we've just come past Yogoro and Yamazaki in it oh Jogoro <laughs> jog on anyway we've just hit a, a little coy show and we thought we'd pop in just have a little look see what's occurring and Liam's down there I love annoying Liam this is the best looking Tamasaba I've seen all day. The best looking Tamasaba you will see all day. How are you doing, guys? You all right, mate, you? Yeah, very good. Wow. The man, the myth. <laughs> Soldier under command. <laughs> How's it things all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I say? Look at that. So this is just a local area koi show, guys. These pop up everywhere. Oh, Kawaku's nice, isn't it? Thank you.
Let's have a look at these in the bags over here. Got wet feet already, guys. Gold price, that is very neat. Going down in size class, guys. It's oh, a very neat little Deutz Sankey, isn't it? Wow. Look how finished that is. Obviously, that's got a gold prize. Oh, very neat little marathon in there. Gold prize. Look at that for a tidy little kajaka. I don't know if you can see it in there, guys. Superb. Really neat little fish, guys. Proper finished. This is Coda. Very nice. So that's the GC there, guys. Yeah, that was a nice little surprise on the way to lunch. Only a 10 minute little stop, but those shows are all over the mountain for like the little different districts, which uh, means a lot to the breeders that are here, I guess. Do you know what I mean? Um, I suppose it shows their pecking order and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, cool. There we are then guys, check out the mountains in the background, the snow is inbound. So that's incredible really, isn't it? I do fancy a bit of a hike up there at some point. Not on this trip, but... Yeah, the snow is coming. Hey! Oh, it's like the Swiss Alps! Fantastic, look at that view guys. We're back in the curry restaurant. I'm gonna try something different today though. I'm obsessed with the little potatoes.
Yes, you can. 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 Yes, Team Gorgeous has turned up. So Liam, uh, Liam, uh, Team Gorgeous has turned up. Thank you very much. Right, 7-Eleven guys, we're gonna go a little bit different. And I'm gonna get one of those. Oh, that's new. I'm going old school. I think I'm gonna get myself a nice cold drink. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. What am I after? Ooh. Oh, tomato juice. Oh, God. Some of the things I eat here, guys, and drink here is a little bit questionable, but the majority of the stuff is absolutely delightful. <laughs> We're on the bloody ice creams. Lovely. Koi house. That's enough. We've taken a right route here, guys. We've got Evo in the car behind us, so we've got at least an ex copper with us. We've got a soldier, but unfortunately, Ryan's one of the three. So, uh, you know, a chain's only as strong as his weakest link. Yeah, this is one hell of a road. The sat nav's just taken us to Marushan, but I'm not sure by a way. It's like deliverance. <laughs> Look at that though, guys. We're just saying, Evo's behind us and he's never been on this road before, I bet. And I've just said to Ryan, I said, don't tell him it's a sat nav, he's gonna be really impressed with your uh, your navigational skills. Trail in bloody Vietnam. That is quite impressive. This is pure jungle almost. Keeping our eyes out for bears, guys, because I want to take one over the box. Oh, slide that, yeah? Oh, don't go off the end there, pal. Guys, Marushin, we made it. If it wasn't for my pathfinding skills, oh, that's just let the bag out of the cat, the cat out of the bag, I mean. <laughs> the sat nav's just uh, said it, yeah, but uh, I'd like to say that was all me, but it wasn't. Marushin, AKA Parada Boy. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky I remembered that route, mate. <laughs> say nothing. Such a nice uh, koi house, isn't it? Ryan, is this still for sale? Oh yeah, it's more like that behind the camera. But it's sold. Uh, right here. Wow. That's pretty Oh, jackpot. <laughs> We've come across a pot of gold. Do you like them? To be honest. I'm a chubby chaser. I don't like them. I like them. Isn't that my cup of tea? That is right there. That is. Oh. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, guys, so Marushan Koi are absolutely amazing. They are, but they do command a decent price. You know, they, they, you know, the guy is good at what he does and he knows he's good at what he does and they're priced accordingly. Uh, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Quality is quality and, yeah, you've got to put the proper price on. So this is the upper Koi house, guys. Such a nice toy house. He's got this hard plastic on the inside and the corrugated stuff on the outside. So in February, this uh, this koi house had all the tamasaba in it. Oh yeah, all the tamasaba again. Come on, Evo, you know you want some of those in your pond when you make it. I'm not a biggest fan of these fish. I do understand people like it, especially when you have a small garden farm. You can have those. It's really funny because they have, they have these functions. <laughs> I mean, they look cute, though. Mm. Cool. I'm going to have to get one for Wolf to play with. Ooh, big ones, guys. Oh, the white one, the red fingers. Mm. Oh, those are big. Yeah, really yeah. big. So the white one with all the red fingers. Yeah. The gold, all the red fingers. Yeah, really so, cool. So, Ryan, you can explain to me, is this is natural or are these fish like really obvious with their big daddy? Uh, not particularly, but I think the ocean obviously breeds a real sort of statement, which makes them absolutely monstrous. They get a real big power behind the back of the head, the body's really quite big. The one in the corner? Yeah, like this one here. Yeah. one in the corner there? The one in the corner is like yeah, 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 super. Who's that all the sake? <laughs> <laughs> well, that one's called the rapid. See if they're gonna the Yeah, yeah. Super cool. Like what? Have you Oh, so they've got a body on it. Wow. 
what you notice is with these as well at this age if you look at the face structure it's like this one down here at the bottom the middle yeah look at that you get this really sort of like broad mouth yeah, shape look here and that's that quite awesome that's always a gem we've got super fish mm. look Simon Sargi as well it's this really broad yeah all square looking mouth really nice they're the best examples I've seen over here. Mate, Otsuka is so good though. All those fish are banging, aren't they? Superb. What you're looking for, Ryan? Shimmies at the moment, mate. Do you want to talk us through a good selection? Yeah, it's shimmies on the head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just looking for a fish from one of Ryan's pies or let this get this collection that and that asagi is really nice. Yeah? Can you grab it? Uh, it's so difficult when people want fish but they they kind of want the dream fish on a budget and it is super difficult. I've got a I feel sorry for Ryan actually with all the shopping lists he gets and um, people are expecting the, the perfect asagi or the perfect hiyatsuri or, or something like that you know they send a picture of what they want but I get it from the tattooing industry as well people send me pictures of tattoos that are done by extremely famous artists and I want that exactly the same as that how much is it going to be you know it's very very difficult like there's going to be has to be movement either with the budget or with the quality of the fish, you know, getting something that is living up to your expectation in your mind on a certain budget, a lot of the time is almost impossible. <coughs> it's just one of those things, especially with the shipping costs, the VAT. Uh, I can, I've seen it firsthand, uh, time and well, day after day, Ryan pulling his hair out, trying to find these fish and uh, finding the fish, but the budget is, the, you know, the fish is out of the budget or, yeah, it's difficult for him. And Ryan is, he doesn't like buying bad fish. He, he won't buy bad fish, he'd rather not do it. And he will pass on, pass on these things if he, if he can't get what he wants really, that he thinks is gonna make the client happy. Super crisp. These fish look to be around what's 70 cm, do you reckon? Yeah. You know. But Ryan was saying that the good thing with the Otsuka bloodlines, the heads are massive on them. Big, big mouths. Impressive fish, very impressive. Looks like we're going in for a cup of tea with this. Uh. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of advertising for Ricky. There you are, Ricky. Well done, pal. Liam, well done. There we are. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> Bonkers. It's cooking in there, mate, 25 degrees. 
Ooh. Wow. Look at that. Looks like a personal show today. Uh, a, a personal um, guided tour of uh, it's a koi farm today. Lovely. Oh, I've not been into this fish house. The break just turned off. Wow. Amazing. Oh, awesome, isn't it? Just showed him my baby champion Issa from the New Up show. And he was like, oh, thank you, congratulations. Wow. Yeah. These fish. <laughs> this must be the best of the best. Look how finished these are. Insane. Wow. Honestly. Absolutely fantastic. Amazing. Have a look at those in there, boy. Wow, very impressive, guys. There's not a bad body in this pond, guys. You just got to look for whatever pattern you enjoy. I'm just gonna go and get my camera quick because I really want to take a close-up of one of those fish for my thumbnail tonight. <sighs> they are absolutely only in your dreams you could have a pond like that. Um, you'd A have to be extremely wealthy to be lucky enough to be able to buy a fish pond like that or fish for that pond like that. Oh, I've got the bloody keys. Or you've got to be extremely skilled to be able to grow a lot of toes eye to get the quality from a very small amount to get to that stage. Wow.
clean water, dirty water. <laughs> there is a reason for that, guys, but we'll talk about that another time. Yeah. Japanese matting all the way here, guys. <laughs> Gorgeous, look at these. Wow, that's awesome, that Kanoko Sumi on that. So, back of the scene, yeah. So, it was pretty funny because Mitsunori, you can record this. Yeah, go on. So, Mitsunori, he uh, texted me, he said, you have to wake, stay awake all night, but please go to the hotel. And then it was like 5 a.m. and he texted me, okay, it's gonna happen. So I drove up like crazy and went to the hotel. And he was sitting here in his chair and he was at like a, um, a stand with his phone in and he was like watching Netflix all night waiting for the point to start. That's amazing. Really cool. So he used his new phone for a baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I know it is this koi house is particularly noisy guys with all the showers and everything going on but look at the amount of toes I the guys got. Unbelievable. Such a magical place. This is Issa is Fantastic, I love it so much. Always nice and clean, a lot of staff, and uh, they need it to be honest. Look at these. Look at the confidence these fish have around humans because there's so many of them. This is a big problem that a lot of people get wrong. They try to grow tozai big with only a few in the pond, but you need basically a shawl of these fish to get a lot of confidence to feed and to get some sort of like competition with each other. They become a lot more docile and they'll feed a lot more furiously. So the best thing to do if you've got two or three really good tozai, put a load of other cheap stuff in there as sort of like, you know, just to raise the amount of koi you've got in there to make them feed more aggressively. Got to be the best logo in the gata. And I think the whole of Japan. Really cool. We just left Issa, got a couple of t-shirts. An old one, the old logo and the new logo. The new logo is a bit gash compared to the old one, but I didn't tell you on that. But anyway, what we're going to do now is we're actually koi'd out. Ryan? Yeah, mate, I don't particularly want to see another fish today. Well, I could, but anyway, what we're doing now is we're going to go to the camping shop because I've had wet feet all week and I fancy a pair of boots, even though I'm only here for another two days. Go to the camping shop quick and then uh, on the way home, we're going to try to find a working man store so we can buy some black waders. You got it, guys. They had the boots that I wanted, but they didn't have me size. Okay. Typical guy G with big feet. Well, not size eight, actually. Um, what we're going to do now is go into the working man shop and get some waders. Mm. We're going into Tool Station in the UK. Wicked. Come on, Tokyo Drift, let's go. Those legs, chicken legs. Who do they belong to? <laughs> <Chicken> leg <day. laughs> <Fuck your> legs. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Koi 2023, here he is. You need to stay uh, fit, right? Uh